Hello there everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be explaining how to play Smite's Merlin in 4 minutes or less. Let's dive right in. Merlin is Smite's only try stance character and what that means is he has 3 different stances that he can choose to be in and each stance has its own unique set of abilities. But before we talk about each specific stance, I'm going to focus on the things that happen in every stance. And the first thing in that category is Merlin's passive, which basically makes it so that every single time you cast an ability, you gain a little charge. And the next auto attack you use expends those charges to make that auto attack more powerful. This is a once per ability little gambit. It does stack up to three times if you're spamming abilities, so it can get really strong, but it only affects one auto attack. The other thing that's consistent in every single stance is Merlin's third ability, which is Flicker, which is a combat blink. Basically, you just teleport X amount of units away. It's not a very long teleport, but it is instant and it gets you out of danger. Now it's time to talk about Merlin's stances. Merlin has three separate stances, Arcane, Fire, and Frost. The way Merlin switches between these stances is by using the ultimate ability or the fourth ability, depending on how you look at it. You can choose which stance you are going to turn into. You cannot turn into the same stance you are already in. So you can't go arcane and then back into arcane. But you can choose to go between the other two available stances by clicking the corresponding ability button to the stance you want to go to. It is a quick transition, so you're going to have to feel out the timing though. Okay, let's get into the meat and potatoes of these stances. We're going to start with arcane. Arcane is a control-oriented stance. It has two abilities that are different than the rest. The one is a giant sphere of energy that does initial damage and does damage over time to enemies in a very large radius, if you hit the initial hit. The second ability is an arcane vortex that pulls everything in the circle towards the center. This can be used to set up the first ability or to just continue to harass them with the damage over time. Frost is a slowing area control stance. The first ability is a Frost Lance that basically just fires a projectile that does damage and splashes. The second ability is where the control comes in, it basically places a blizzard that slows enemies and does damage. Our final stance is Fire, and all puns aside, it quite literally burns objectives and tanks to the ground. It is phenomenal for like literally melting tanks and destroying objectives. I recommend using this stance whenever you're on Gold Fury, Fire Giant, Apophis, or whenever a tank is diving you and you want to really fire back at them. So now let's touch on ability leveling order. I like to level the first ability. In each stance, it has something early that I like. In Frost, the first ability does good poke. In Arcane, the first ability does good late and clear. And in Fire, it's just a fun ability. But I don't often go into Fire early game. Your first five levels should see you leveling the one, then the two, then the one again, then the three for the escape, and then finally the four so that you can go and deal damage with your stance switch. I will say you can switch stances before level 5, but it will not do damage in the transformation until you start leveling the ability. Now it's time for some rapid fire tips. Build Gem of Isolation. Merlin has a lot of ticking abilities, so Gem of Isolation gets a lot of value. Don't be afraid to use Arcane's second ability to help peel enemies away from you. It is actually a very good self-defense tool and it doesn't have to be used exclusively offensively. Don't depend on the blink, it's not very far, it's not going to really get you away from people. Just position well and then in emergencies blink away from like a raw alt or something. Thanks for watching, if you want to continue to learn Smite with me right now, click that video on your screen and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.